Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name's Millie and you could, can subscribe down below if you like. So today I've decided to do a little get ready with me with a bit of Q&A. So the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize the areas that always get so, so dry. So I'm using the My Clarins Reboost Moisturizer. And I've got into this a lot lately. I just think it's really nice. Like, to be fair, I literally, like, this is going to sound grim, but I never used to moisturise my face or anything. I just used to leave it, and then on the odd time I would. But then I realised I started getting really dry, like, nose areas and, like, on my sides of my face. Um, so I thought, it's time to invest in a good old moisturiser. The first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And for this, I use the... Anast is it Anast I never know how to pronounce this. Anastasia Beverly Hill Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade in the shade. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Soft brown. So I'm gonna use that. And the brush that I use, one of my brushes, for this is the if I can find it. The it's rubbed off the writing, but it's one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Like when you purchase it. It like comes with recommended brushes, so I just use that one. So yeah, and I have like you see the colour of my hair, it's like a bit browny, bit blonde. So yeah, but I generally have my brow it was like darker than usual. So yeah, but I'll quickly get my Q and A questions up so we can get started with them whilst I'm doing this to make it a bit more interesting, hopefully for you guys. So I haven't had my eyebrows done in a while because of the whole thing that's going on, but. I have generally got a bit of a natural shape, which I'm so, so thankful for. So, yeah. So, I literally always just dip it in and I just go around. But, like I said, like that. Literally just going around my eyebrow. Just literally outlining it. But, like I said, no, I mean, am I, like, a professional artist or anything like that? Because I literally just do my makeup because I want to put some makeup on. But, and if you're all wondering... You dirty pink. Mirror I was using, it's literally just the Daniela Creations one. Literally, freestanding, plug it in, lights up, perfect for what I want to do. So, literally just outlining my brow like that. So, let's go on with the questions. So, the first question I got, so I, like, I asked my friends the questions because obviously I haven't really built up a YouTube base yet. But the first one was favourite memory or memories from last summer. Now, I don't actually have a specific memory of last summer because I feel like it was just a really good summer in general because I feel like 2019 was like the best summer I've had yet. So my like favourite times or memories is kind of when I'm just with my friends and literally just having such a good time laughing and everything as cringy as that sounds literally just with my friends laughing and having such a good time so that is literally like my best memory I would say I can't really pick it out but I mean last year we had such good weather because I live in England so we don't always have the best of weather in summer. But last year we had such good weather. So I think that made everything like 10 times better. So I feel like last summer was just a really good one. So I don't have a specific memory, to be honest. Um, the next question was, top five places you want to go in the world? Now, I have always wanted to go to LA. So I want to mainly go to like Miami, California area. So that's one I brought on. Um, I've, made, I've always wanted to go to like Miami, California, so that's two places. Um, Hawaii, I always think looks so nice. Uh, the Bahamas, I always want to go there. Uh, where, how many is that? Bahamas, Hawaii, California, Miami. Um, last place, just the classic Maldives. I've always wanted to go there. Like, for me, I love the beach kind of hot holidays. And I don't really go on abroad holidays with my families because they aren't bothered about going abroad. So we don't really go abroad, but definitely when I'm older, I want to go to more like aesthetically pleasing places 
and just places that are so like beautiful within uh, like nature if you know what I mean like I love I feel like I've never been to one but I feel like I love a tropical rainforest I don't know why but I always see pictures of them and I always think they're just like so pretty so yeah that's the first two questions so now I'm just gonna finish doing my brows I'll time up six it's gonna take me about five ten more minutes So now that I've finished my eyebrows, what I'm going to do is outline my eyebrows with this MAC brush. It's from the Mar Mariah Carey, Carey, I never know how to pronounce people's names, but it's like her little glittery brush. Um, it doesn't actually say what shape it is or what the purpose is for it, but I just use it to outline my eyebrows because I like it. So, like I said, I'm not a make pie, so I don't really have specific brushes for everything. Well, I do, but not like proper ones that you're supposed to use. So, the, I'm just going to outline all around the eyebrows. And I use the concealer LA Girl um, in the shade Pour. Porcelain, can you see how it's focusing? Yep, yeah, in the shade porcelain. But please excuse my disgusting dry hands because I'm pretty sure I have like a dry hands problem because I like that all the time. So I'll literally just go under my eyebrows and literally just line them like that. Literally nothing to it. Whack a bit of concealer under there to sort of shape them a bit more. Obviously, I can do my pomade a bit dodgy, and if I've gone like weird with my brows, I can sort of like outline them back into the shape I want them to be, if that makes sense. Because I have naturally an eye, even eyebrows from a horrible experience of getting my eyebrows waxed when I was younger. So, you know, we just have to try and make them as even as possible. But sometimes that is a little bit difficult. So while I outline the next eyebrow, I'm going to do some more questions. So another friend told me to answer the question, she's called Millie, same name as me. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Now, I'm going on, like I said in my first video, in the day of the life me in quarantine, I said I am going to be doing A-levels. So I am going to obviously do them. And then hope, so that's two years, and then hopefully, I think my uni course I'd like to do at the moment is three or four years. So I like to be planned ahead, but as a few of my friends will know, I like to be organised. So that's the next five years, but I mean, during that five years, I want to see more places, like go to the five most places I want to go to most. And I also hopefully want to progress my YouTube, which I'm doing now, because I just find it so fun to do and I just like being creative. So I thought, you know what? I kind of want to grow a little bit with YouTube, hopefully. Fingers crossed if this goes somewhere. So yeah, that is basically what I'm doing. So yeah, the next stage in my makeup is blending my eyebrows so i literally just use the sculpting brush from real techniques and yeah i know it's a sculpting brush but it works sculpting brush but it works the exact same for me so i literally i don't i'm so sorry if these if makeup people are watching or anyone that's actually good at makeup and i'm probably doing it wrong but this is just how I like to do it. So yeah, let's blend this in. Six and a half hours later. Alright, so now it's all blended in. Can you see my eyebrows? I think they're a little bit dark. I've done them a little bit dark. I'm not having the best of makeup days. But you know, it's reality. I'm not going to shoot this video ten times until I get them how I want it. So, yeah. The next question... Hang on, let me show you my makeup that we'll do next first. So the next, I'm just going to prime my face with a complexion primer from Urban Decay. I've had this one a bit of a long time. It's like running out. So I always use this one. I love it. I don't know why it's like, I feel like it's 
moisturising and just nice to use. So, the foundation I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Born This Way Almond... Can you see that? Oh, can you see that? Almond one, along with my Benefit Hello ha Hello Happy, is it? That one, in the shade number two because i feel like this one's a little bit light for me but then this one's a little bit darker so i think it's just like a nice combination and i feel like this one's a bit light coverage but like gentle on the skin like this is just my personal opinion this is not a professional opinion at all do not take my word for it and i feel like this one's got a bit more coverage but like i just like it because i like a bit more coverage on my foundation so yeah but whilst i'm putting this on I'm gonna answer another question. So what, another friend, shout out to Aggie, um, asked what do you want to do when you're older? So a lot of my friends, I'm literally just applying this in my hand, I'm so sorry if I'm not supposed to. But um, so when I'm older, I want to do event management as a lot of my friends will know. I can't stop talking about it because it's something I'm passionate about. So I just wanna do event management. Um, well, I've decided at a young age, if possible, so I, so I can see myself like doing it for a long, long time. So I feel like at the start, while I'm young, I want to sort of like do event management within festivals and things like that. That more interests me at the moment. So yeah. So I have just dampened my beauty blender and it's expanded. I just used one from Real Techniques. It's just beauty blender. I got a pack of two. It works out cheaper if you get a pack of two. There you go, tip for the day. So, oh, there's a bit. Uh. So, yeah, right. I'll put my foundation on and I'll answer the next question. So, to apply my foundation at the start, because I'm mixing two, I'm just going to use a brush from Morphe. It's, it is a foundation brush. It's from one of their collections. I feel like it's a, it's a rose gold collection, because that is rose gold. Um, but I'm just going to put on this my palette. And just get it and just put it on my face i'm so sorry the people that are watching this thinking what the hell is she doing but this is just how i do it now i didn't used to do it like this because i used to only when i used only one foundation i just pump it onto my hand and then i beauty blend it but when i'm using two foundations i do it this way because then it makes sense can you see like the colour difference on my face it, there is quite a colour difference so that's what I meant by like one's lighter than the other but combined together they make a really nice colour this one's got a bit more of a yellowy tint to it so and it's not my face is really pinky but it's got a little bit of pink behind it so I like the benefit one's got a bit of pink behind it as well so while I'm blending this in, I'm going to answer a, another question. If this goes on nicely, thank you. So the next question is, what videos have you got planned for your YouTube channel? So this is another one from Aggie. So for my YouTube channel, the next videos I have planned is sort of like a nighttime routine. I've got one of them planned. Um, and then I sort of want to get into doing a few more challenges when I can, when we're out of this what's going on in the world right now. Um, so I sort of want to do a few more of challenges and then I also want to do some videos with friends because I feel like it's just a f something, a good thing to do, a bit of fun to have your mates on your channel. So that's just another thing what i want to do so if anyone's got any suggestions of videos that they would like to see then please do comment them down below because especially ones that i can do while we're in self-isolation or like quarantine because it is hard to just kind of find ones that don't involve going out to the shops to get something because obviously i only want to send go out with my mum if we have to Ooh, i like to turn off so yeah but that is my face pretty much done it's like a nice coverage it's not too much so that is my makeup done 
not done not as in my foundation done uh, and my eyebrows done so the next thing i'm going to do is my concealer now i've actually ran out of my favorite concealer at the moment which is the urban decay naked skin one shade light neutral is it gonna focus yes it's actually like neutral however i've literally if i take it out there's literally nothing on the stick so for under my eyes at the moment and i burnt myself with the curlers i've got a little scar there so i always like to cover it it's not really seeable but i like to cover it for a bit more self-confidence but so i just used this on my face and got a brush applicator i'm actually just gonna brush it under my eye like that, make a little triangle where I want it to go. Put a little bit down my nose, put a little bit there, and then put little dots here on my forehead. And then I'm literally just going to blend that in with the same beauty blender, but use the other end, this one. So I'm literally just going to blend that in, it's going to lighten under my eye. Right, while I'm doing this, I'll do the next question as well. So the next question is, well, is what is your favourite food? So my favourite food at the moment whilst in lockdown is pork sausages and beans. It's in the Heinz pork sausages and beans. I don't know why but I will literally have that for lunch any day or cheesy pasta as you've seen in my, in my other video. So them two I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Um, but if it was out of this whole virus and i could eat anything i'd eat nando's nando's is like a restaurant but it's also the same my favorite food so yeah that is my favorite food at the moment oh yeah that's that question done but whilst i'm moving on to the next before i move on to the next question i'm gonna show which no color powder i use setting powder i just use the rmca one this because one and yeah i look a bit stupid right now right tap on the floor so the next question while i'm waiting for this to set is what do you miss most in lockdown and how are you coping which I think is a very good question, once again, Aggie, because I feel like everyone's coping differently. So what I miss most in lockdown is just having freedom to go out, to choose whether I want to go out and see my friends or not. And it's so weird to me not seeing my grandma, like, pretty much every day, like, in a normal circumstance, because I still go, do go and drop stuff off at a house that she needs. However, I don't go and see it every day and she doesn't come down to our house so i think that's quite weird for me as well so kind of like miss normality as you call it um but i'm coping all right to be fair i do get very bored but it is how it is i'm not upset like really upset but i'm not like happy about the whole situation obviously and i don't really think many people are it's to brush this off i'm literally just using same brush collection as my foundation one literally just it's called a powder brush i think on the morphe one rose gold literally plain and simple i think got these brushes from for my birthday so yeah so that's it all set i've got my foundation done setting powder eyebrows concealer so the next thing to do is my contour so the first thing i do is i get my little eyeshadow brush and I literally I use the Coco contour palette from Too Faced I think this one's actually been discontinued but it's literally my favorite in the world but I literally just put the white one on my eyelids to stop um the creasing from the concealer because I don't put eyeshadow on really like, I've got eyeshadow palette and if I go somewhere I'll wear eyeshadow but I don't wear it as like an everyday sort of makeup thing so yeah, but for my contour, I'm going to use the dark cocoa, this one. Mix between that and then eventually that underneath it. Um, but for now, I'll just use that. 
on my cheekbones and I don't obviously know if I'm using this right but yeah again it's just how I like to do my makeup so yeah if anyone's got any tips or anything feel free to leave them down below it would be so so gratefully appreciated so yeah I'll just do this and then we'll answer some more questions does anyone else have a trouble of trying to get contour to stick to your forehead like, I've got quite a big forehead so I need to like contour my forehead but it's really a struggle trying to get it to stick I don't know if it's just a light in today but yeah and then I've got to go in with a medium cocoa that one just literally underneath it just to try and blend it a little bit more on the top underneath it and then a bit more narrow into my forehead there. and then I'm going to do a mix between the medium and the dark that I've been using tap it a little bit just do it on my jawline just to sharpen that a little bit so yeah that's my contour pretty much done once I've contoured my nose literally just using the same brush brush the sides that's it I don't do loads on it but yeah that's my contour done so the next thing I'm going to do is use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette for my highlight. Now, I don't wear loads of highlight. I'm not very good at highlight either. I can't pick out a good highlighter. So if anyone's got any good highlighters, please comment down below. Um, so I just literally use the Eclipse one, which is this one here. That one there. I've got a pinky tone to it. The other two I smashed out. Spectra and Lyra are smashed out because I don't like them and then Luna I used to use but it's a bit white so I'm literally just using my fan brush from the Real Techniques collection yet again and I'm literally just brushing it on my face like I don't really I'm not really good at highlighter but yeah I can just put it anywhere I want to be highlighted Um, and then yeah that's all I really do to it just do a bit of that and then the next thing to do is do my lips put some mascara on and have done my makeup and my hair I usually just leave it down I don't do anything with it so I put my mascara on do my lips and then show you the final thing my hat mascara I literally just use the Maybelline Last Sensation I use a combination of these two I don't know I don't know what oh it's got two sides so it's the same both sides I didn't realise um, so it's just got like two so exact same so just use that one's just a glossier case so I think I found that kind of satisfying so I always use the one that's got the most in first to kind of get more on my eyes. So yeah, do a little time up to me doing this now. That's the first mascara done. Um, and I don't curl my lashes or anything because I feel like my lashes naturally lift up a bit. So I just don't curl my lashes enough. For some reason I don't get along with eyelash curlers either, I find them so weird to use. I feel like they're going to rip my eyelashes out, so I literally, oh dear, I literally just use mascara. That's my lashes. And then the next thing I'm going to do, brush the powder from thing, is my lipstick. So, so at the moment I am into this lipstick, it is shade... Linda Beige, I don't, it's not going to focus, it's gold. But it's Linda Beige, it is from Gucci, if you can see. Makeup will look nice, so it's just a nude lipstick. And yeah, that is literally it. Taken my hair down, brushed it, and it is literally just my everyday look. Sometimes I don't even put lipstick on, I literally just use a, like, a lip salt. So yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to go check out my other videos. Don't forget also forget to like, subscribe and comment and turn on the post notifications so you know when I come out with a brand new video. I'm hoping to come out with videos Mondays and Thursdays at 9am. So yeah, and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's watching my videos. 
and subscribed at the moment supporting me it really does mean a lot to me seeing as i've just started so yeah thank you so much for watching see you next time bye